Hey, welcome guys. Tabletop Dice Baseball, and we're playing a fall classic game. It's opening day, 1974. It's uh, New York Mets visiting the Philadelphia Phillies. Steve Carlton, the lefty versus Tom Terrific, the right-hander. And we're all set up here on the table. Let me just uh, slide over a little bit here to make space for the um, tower or field where I roll the dice. Game plays very fast. I'm going to head out to the gym in a couple of minutes, so I'm going to get a quick game in here because I just had breakfast, a light breakfast, so I don't want to just let that uh, digest. And it's going to be Wayne Garrett leading off for the Metsies. And let's see here. Let's start it up. Uh, Steve Carlton is ready. Here's the first pitch of the game. Wayne Garrett. Wayne Garrett, 33, is ball four. So he trots on down at first base on a base on balls, and uh, Carton walks the first man he faces in this game. All right. Steve Carton. Oh, wait. I had, well, that was only, that was off the bat of Carton automatically. Uh, and I did not roll for, let me just roll for. Okay, so I'm doing the home team first. That's Carlton first, 13. So that will make him, all right. I got some cards here that I can use. There we go. And then we're going to have, oh, that's going to make Tom terrific an A. So we got two A's going. I got a, an adjustment for left-handed pitchers. Anyway, all right. So it's uh, in the first uh, the first roll was off Garrett's card anyway, so I don't have to worry about it. Felix Mion with Garrett at first, and here's the pitch, and 23 will be a 15. And a 15, let me get that. I know most of the results. Now, I know that's a ground ball to third. I don't remember if that's a double. I think that's a double play if the third baseman's arm uh, is strong. Yeah, so let's see Schmidt. Let's see if he has if he's categorized as a strong arm, and that depends on how many double plays his team turned. And he's a, a an, an average arm, um, and that's related to his uh, double number of double plays. If you have a lot of double plays, you get a strong arm, medium, an A arm, and then uh, so it doesn't mean his his arm is weak or anything like that. So this is gonna be a five four fielder's choice. It goes to second, throw to first, not in time. All right, so Mian is on at first. And um, John Milner. Oh, no, it isn't John Milner. It is Rusty Stop. So I like to inject a little bit of, you know, uh, kind of insight into the games when I play them. So if you're playing this game or if you consider playing this game or you just want some level of, you know, uh, entertainment, um, I, I like to add, you know, s certain things that I do and I think about uh, our what we do, right, uh, hobby. Uh, here's Rusty Staub with Miana first. The pitch, and that's a 46 now. Staub's home runs went up to 19 from, I think, 15. That's a 46, and this is an interesting roll because this is going to be a ballpark roll, and that's going to send us to the runner on base wildest section. Okay, the runner on base, wildest section, and let's get there. This is one of the few times that I go to the charts. Probably the only time in the game that I will be at the charts. So it's on the back side of the defense. You know, that's exotic. We got to go wildest, which is the front side. Okay, wildest with a runner on first. Uh, let's see, and then we're going to roll a d20, I believe. Oh, no, it's a, it's a, it oh, wait, I think you rolled a 20. Let's see, hold on. Uh, this is like a, like a rare play. Runner on first, wildest chart, D20. Got to roll a D20. Let's get a new one so we don't mix it up with the old one. And that's a 12. Runner on first, wildest play, a 12. This is going to be a topper down third baseline, an s arm third baseman, scoops, and fires to first for the out. Others let it roll foul. Batter rolls again. All right, nothing happened. Beautiful. A slow roller down the line, and Stav is going to beat it out, and Schmidt lets it go foul. All right. And here's Rusty, and Mian takes his lead off first. Carlton gives him a look, and he's ready to pitch. And that's a 56, and that normally is a swing and a miss. Struck him out through fastball by Stav. And here's Cleon Jones. 
play on Jones. Let's do it. Here's the pitch. And that's a 24. That's normally a hit by pitch, but it goes up to 8 and then minus 1 for Carlton. Carlton modifies that. So then you got a 17, which is a fly ball left field. And Luzinski comes over. He's under it. And that's third out. So they leave a man stranded. And uh, we go to the bottom of the first. No score with the Phils. Coming to bat, Dave Cash leads off 300 hitter. Dave Cash, 52. So this is interesting. So the first thing we got to do here is check for the KD. KD is one to five. That's a nine. So now we're going to have to roll again. I'm going to use a different die, and uh, we're rolling for the error. Let me check. I'm going to pull a card here, and it's going to say a 52 goes to the second baseman. It would be a potentially a one. So it's a ground ball to Mian. Doesn't make a lot of errors, and he feels this one cleanly. Yeah, he's a four, so he doesn't make a lot of errors. So you got to re-roll that, that die. That's crucial. I, I played for a long time without doing that. And then I was noticing I was having an issue with guys uh, that didn't make a lot of errors, barely made any errors because the KD check was over overriding it. So um, Larry Bow is up. Wow. Pitch from Seaver. Got to leave his name showing up. He's trying to leave his name showing up. There we go. And that's a 12, and that'll be a 13, which he's a switch hitter batting lefty. So that would be bounced to the first baseman. That, too, tells me he flips it to the pitcher cover, and Seaver gets over there just in time. And Del Unser. He's a lefty hitter with a 65. That's a P-hole run, 1-9, to nine, but that 20 is going to be lined. And to who? The second baseman. That 4 tells me it's L4. That's a third out. We'll go to the top of the second. Moving along in this game, this game plays very, very quickly. If you're an Apple fan and you like the quick play aspect of Apple, you'll love this game. If you're a Strat fan, you you know it, that it, you have the 50-50 kind of thing with a pitcher card and a batter card. Here's a pitch. And that's 63, which will be a check swing. They check with the third base umpire, and he rings him up. John Milner goes down looking and uh, or swinging, I guess. Here's uh, Jerry Grody now. Where's Grody? There we go. Pitch to Grody. And Grody with a 22, which will be a 1-6 to six single. Otherwise, ball four outside. Takes the walk. Buddy Harrelson. Oh, no. Don Hahn. Don Hahn is up with one out, one on. Pitch. And a 64 will be a swing and a miss. Got him out in front of the curveball. And here comes Buddy Harrelson. And it's a 51. There we got to go. But that's going to fall within the KD check range with that one. Struck him out. Bottom of the second. Here we come. Greg Luzinski leading off against Tom Terrific. And it's a 16. And that's a swing and a miss. Fastball blows. Uh, Seabrook blows. A fastball, a heater by Luzinski for the strikeout. Here's Montanez. He's a lefty. 36, and that is going to be a fly ball. Center field. Han, a couple steps to his left, under, two away. Mike Anderson. Mike Anderson, interesting player. Uh, 43, and that's going to be a bounce out to the third baseman. Garrett fires a strike to Milner at first, and that retires the side with top of the third. No score. Yeah, Anderson, uh, pretty good for like a sub guy. He's got a decent card. Is a good, very good defender. <coughs> Tom Seaver at the plate leads off against Carlton. And Carl 31, and that's going to be a ground ball, and that's through into left field for a base hit. So Seaver gets, gets somehow gets it between Schmidt and Boa. And... Uh, Wayne Garrett with Seaver first. And Wayne Garrett is not a great bunter. He was a better bunter in 73. Now he's uh, he hit uh, 13 home runs. So he's got a little bit of power. Let me see. Make sure I didn't. Because I, I banged my head against the camera. And I probably moved it. No, I did not. Not too bad. All right. Let's go back there. Uh, let's get up. This is a little bit darker. There we go. All right, Wayne Garrett up. Seaver on at first and the pitch. And it's going to be a 24 again. That's a hit by pitch number, but uh, three makes it close. One to two on Garrett. 
but it's a minus one on Carlton, so that makes it a one, and uh, we roll a three. So instead, it's going to be a ground ball. He's a lefty, so that's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. And uh, ground ball to the first baseman is going to be just a ball that's scooped up by Montanez and moving to second base will be receiver. Slow ground ball to the first baseman. And here's Felix Mian with a runner in scoring position. Top of the third, no score. Here's a pitch. Oh, a 36. And a 36 is going to be a four. That's bounced to Cash at second. And that moves Seaver to third. Here's Rusty Staub, the pitch. And a 34 will be a fly ball. Backing up is Boa and Cash. And Unser coming in. He calls everybody off, makes the catch, and that retires us out. We go bottom of the third, no score. Now, as you can see, I sleeved these cards. Bob Boone is up. Couldn't find his card. I had to go into the PDFs. They send you a, a PDF of everybody. So I went into the PDF and just printed out his card because when the cards, sometimes they stick, and he may be in another team. And when I get to that team and discover it, I'll kind of put him in Philadelphia. But I still have his card. It's fine. No emergencies with this game. Uh, 36, and that's going to be a fly ball to right. Stop. Down the line, and... Makes a running catch of Bob Boone's late swing and fly to right. Mike Schmidt batting eighth, 12, ball four. Seaver walks him. Hits only 18. Oh, no, actually hits in 74. He'll hit 36 home runs. But at the beginning of the season, he's batting eighth. So he that will change as the season progresses. You know, I use actual lineups just to learn the history of what goes on. But I bet you in a month or next time I face the Phillies, he'll be batting Sixth, and then after that, probably fourth. Steve Carlton with the runner first, and Steve Carlton is a good bunter, and he will square the bunt, and it's a good bunt. Picked up by the catcher. Moves Schmidt to second base. Into scoring position for Dave Cash, a 300 hitter. And uh, how's his walk numbers? Walk number is 46. Not too bad. Not terrible. Not great. Not too bad. Here's the pitch. And that's a 12, and it's a 1-8 to eight single, but it's a 13. A righty is going to bounce that to the shortstop, Harrelson, over to first, and that retires the side. Cleon Jones is leading off against Steve Kropp, and a 43 will be a sky ball hitting the sky to center. Unser, one down. John Milner, whoa, with a 55, and that's going to be a drive down the line. If it's fair, it's trouble, and into the corner it goes, and Mike Anderson plays the carom. Going to second base is Milner ahead of the throw to Boa. Boa with the late tag, but uh, Milner was in there with a one-out double. So uh, Milner tags a Crompton pitch into the corner for a double. Mike Anderson played it extremely well off the carom. Here's uh, Jerry Grody with the runner on second with one out. So RBI opportunity pitch from Carlton. And a 12 will be a three bouncer to the first baseman, Montanez. And Carlton better get over there. And he does. Just ahead of Grody, who was hustling, not known for his speed, but was hustling down that line. Here's Don Hahn now. Moving to third is Milner. Here's a pitch from Carlton. And it's a 32, which will turn into a fly ball to center field. Unser takes a couple steps back, and that retires the side. I keep on hitting the camera with my head. All right. Larry Boa leads off the bottom of the fourth, moving along with two star pitchers with a 32, and that'll be a fly ball to center. And Han squeezes it for the out. Here's Dell Unser at a 260 with a 66. And a 1-3 to three is a home run, and that's a drive. A deep drive to right. Stop to the track. Looks up, and that's in the seats. And the crowd here in Philadelphia goes wild. <sighs> All right, so the Phillies are up one nothing on the Dell Unser home run. And that was not an easy home run to manage. It was a 66. 
Holy smokes, he has a one to three homer in that role. So if you like, if you're an Apple guy, you'll feel comfortable with the 66, the 44s being, uh, um, you know, being uh, being hits, right? And then also, uh, if you're a Strat fan, I, I feel that uh, you'll like this as well, um, simply because it has all the elements of an advanced Stratomatic. But it plays. Um, I, I wouldn't say all the all, all the elements, but a lot of the elements. Um, and but it plays just like a strap basic. So here's Greg Luzinski. Seaver gets the sign from Brody Wines and Deals. And a 56 will be a swing and a miss. Blows a fastball by Luzinski for the second time today. Second time Luzinski goes down on strikes. Willie Montanez with two outs. Steps in the box and the pitch from Seaver and he swings and misses at a Seaver curveball. The Seavers, after the home run, strikes out the next two batters. And uh, here's Bud Harrison leads off the top of the fifth. Steve Carlton on the mound. 64, and that's a swing and a miss. Out in front of the curve, and here's Terrific. And with a 43 will be a line drive right to the pitcher, uh, the first baseman. Montanez, L3. That three tells me it's line drive too deep. So you got to learn the the, uh, the outs chart. Once you learn the outs chart, it plays super fast, right? And it's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. A three is the, the first baseman. You know, a four is the second baseman. Five is the third baseman. And that's how you know what the deal is. All right. So here is Wayne Garrett leads off. I'm sorry, with two outs. I dropped my cards and I lost my bearings. All right, so uh, Wayne Garrett up, lefty hitter, a 26 against a righty. That's going to be line base hit just past the diving Dave Cash at second base. Felix Mian with two outs. Choking up on that bat, right-handed hitter. Carlton gets the sign from Boone, looks over at Garrett. Garrett's not going anywhere right now. Here's the pitch. And that's a 52, and that's too high for the KD check. We're going to see. That's an error number, right? 51, 52 error numbers. 53 is a range number. So a 52 is going to be to the pitcher, a possible uh, error on the pitcher. And his error rating is a 14. It's a one base error. So we're going to roll that other D20, and it's a five. So it's tapped right back to Carlton. Carlton drops the ball, and everybody is safe. Hustling down the line is Mian. It's a one base error, and that puts uh, runners on first and second with two outs here in the top of the fifth inning. Rusty stop. Rusty bats from the left side, hit 20 home runs. So it's lefty versus lefty. Let's see who wins this battle. Two runners on, three run homer here would, would be magnificent for the Mets. Here's the pitch. And you're not going to get it. It's close, but a 56 is going to be a pitch outside, but it's called the strike, and Rusty goes down looking. And Rusty's still at the plate. Here comes Terrific on the mound against Mike Anderson. Anderson batted 250, hit five home runs, um, 22 doubles in 400 at-bats. Interesting. I think he hit those all those home runs versus righties, though. Or no, versus lefties, actually. I think he hit them all versus lefties. Anyway, okay, here's the pitch to Mike Anderson. And a snake eyes is going to be a tapper right back to Seaver. Feels it, throws it over to Milner, one away. Bob Boone next. That's the card I couldn't find. I have to print it out. And that's going to be a 23, which is a fly ball, right center field. Han and Staub over, and it's Staub who calls off Han. And here comes the eighth-place batter, Mike Schmidt, the Mike Schmidt, Hall of Famer, with a 62 and swings the receiver fastball to end the inning. Receiver strikes out Schmidt to end the inning with a top of the six, one nothing fills the home run by Dell Unser is our only run. Here's Cleon Jones. And that's a 31, which will be a ground ball up the middle. And that's through into center field played by Unser. He gets it into cash. And Cleon Jones is on it first. John Milner next. John Milner's got some power. He had 20 home runs. Here's the pitch. 
And a 34 is going to be a fly ball, deep center field. Back goes Unser to the track and makes the running catch. So Unser got a good beat on that ball right off the bat and took off immediately, never hesitated, was able to get to the warning track and reached up and was able to grab that one. Here is Jerry Grody, the catcher for the Mets. With one out, and Jones is on at first. Now, Grody is a good bunter and a good hit-and-run guy, so we're going to send uh, Jones on this. There he goes. And a seven. Hit and run. That's not going to be too much. I don't really outnumber that. That's a fly ball center field. And uh, Jones is going to have to hustle back. The throw to first, and he is safe. So a fly ball to center. And Han now with two outs. Pitch from Carlton Han, not a very good hitter. It's 22, and that's ball four. So Han, uh, Han manages a walk, showing some patience. So runs on first and second for Buddy Harrelson. Rest in peace, passed away just recently. A 65. That's a minus 10 home run, so that erases the home run possibility. Uh, it's, a, it's a one to seven on Carlton. So Harrelson does not hit very many home runs. Um, he did hit one home run. And that's going to be a ground ball to third. Well, he's batting. Yeah, it's a ground ball to third. And it will be Schmidt stepping on the bag at third, and that retires the side. So, again, the Mets lead more men on. Uh, let's see if it the box score tells us how many men were left on. It tells you at the end, I believe. Huh. Okay. Um, Steve Carlton is off the receiver here in the bottom of the sixth pitch. And it's a 52 with a three. That'll be a strikeout. Curveball, get, well, actually, fastball wouldn't throw Carlton curveball. Just blows a fastball by Carlton. Next up is Dave Cash. Cash, 35. And that's going to be a, a tapper right back to Seaver. Seaver throws out Cash for the second out. And Luzinski, uh, Boa, excuse me. With a 33, that's a line base hit and uh, potential for a steal here. I play automatic steals. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to roll the D6 on a 1. There's a possible pickoff pitcher error. Not the 2, so we're going to roll roll a D20 for Boa. Boa's number is 16. Now Grody, I don't know if Grody has a negative uh, uh, to give him. Um, he does not, so it stays at 16. Boa stole uh, 39 bases. And there he goes, and he, oh, he's just in there ahead of the tag. It was 16. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Unser. Where is Unser? What did I do with this? There he is. Okay. Cards fell a couple minutes ago, so there's everything's out of whack. All right. Dell Unser with a run around second and two outs. He has a pitch receiver. And a 66 is going to be a drive in the gap. That's going to split the outfield. He's coming around to score his Boa 2 0 and. Unser with a two-out RBI double. <clears throat> Greg Luzinski is up. Pitch from Terrific. Uh, 44 is going to be line base hit. Now, will the runner come in is the question on that 15. A single 15. What the runner is a one base unless two are outs, and he'll come around to score. Three to nothing. Willie Montanez. And a 55. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be line base hit. And let's see how far Luzinski goes on this. He stops at second base. That's ripped in front of, drops in front of Stav and Stav whips it to Harrelson at second, and they keep Luzinski there. Luzinski not, with not great speed. And Mike Anderson now. So there's some movement in the Mets bullpen. Sievers, he uh, struck out, well, got the first two batters out, but then he was a single, a double, a single, and a single, so he's allowed four consecutive hits here. See what happens with uh, Mike Anderson, and that's a 41, and that's ball four. So Seaver is going to get a visit from the pitching coach. And uh, Bob Boone's coming up, catcher for the Phillies, Bob Boone. 
Bases are loaded here, and Siebert's got to see if he can work himself out of this, this pickle, this predicament. You got Luzinski at third, you got Montanez at second, and you have Mike Anderson at first. Boone, what has Boone done today? He is 0 for 2 today against Siebert. Seaver's going to get the sign from Grody from the set position. And here's the pitch. And that's going to be a line drive. Base hit. Another base hit. The fifth in a row. I rolled 33s, 55s, 44s, 66. All right. Another base hit with a 14. And that'll bring home two runners. And stopping at second base will be Anderson. The throw is cut off by Harrelson. And uh, no. Let's back up. Let's go to detail. That's where we can bring in two. So it's a single two-run score and stopping at second. And uh, at this point, 5 nothing. We're going to pull Seaver. Um, there's no reason not to. Allowing five runs here. I just can't believe it. And uh, for the Mets, he was up next. So we're going to have to pull a double switch here. We're going to pull a double switch and uh, let's see. The short center field, Martinez, can play center field. So we're going to bring him in. He played in 108 games. So Martinez comes in there and from the bullpen, uh, Tony, let me see. We're going to bring in Bob Apodaca. We got Tug McGraw. Bob Apodaca is going to fill in for Han. He's going to take Han's spot in the seventh position. And uh, and let's grab those guys. Let's grab the uh, back. Unfortunately, Seaver is out, and we're gonna and the Phils are taking a five nothing lead here in the bottom of the fourth. Who are we looking for, Apodaca? Got all the cards, so uh, got a little bit of everybody. There he is. There's Bob Epidek. He's coming out. And we can see what kind of oh, he's going to be an A pitcher. All right, so that makes our life easier. <laughs> Against uh, Schmidt. So Boone picks up a two run single. Good job by Bob Boone. And two outs, two on. Seaver's out of there. And here's Bob Adaka. Gets the sign from Grody. Sets and deals. And a 21 will be a swing and a miss. And he strikes out Schmidt to end the inning. Oh, did I? I forgot to grab Martinez. Gah! And I saw him too. He was right on top. All right. There's Martinez. He played in 108 games. So I'm probably going to. Uh, Sleeve him up. I don't want to sleeve everybody up, but for the guys that you know did appear a lot, uh, he had through over 300 bats. I definitely want to protect them because I will be playing the Mets a lot. Not the Met, not only the Mets, but I'm playing I think four 74 teams. So this is going to take me a while, but I'm it's going to be an on and off thing. I'm playing the the uh, Angels, the Rangers. I'm playing the Yankees, and I'm playing the Mets. And I don't know if there's another team. I'm playing. Not sure. Oh, the, did I say Rangers? Yeah. All right. Here's Ted Martinez against Steve Carlton. Five nothing Phillies. Top of seven. And that's a sixty-one. Strike him out. Oh, next up is Wayne Garrett with a fifty-five, and he lines a single to right. One hop in front of Mike Anderson and Garrett's on it first. Here's Felix Miano, who's over three today. And it's a 21, which will be a ground ball to short. Let's see, a 16. Is that going to turn into a double play? Uh, only on a strong arm shortstop. And strong means that he turned a lot of double plays. That's going to go to second for one, back to first. And they get it. That retires the side. 6-4-3, double play. 
All right, Steve Carlton leads off here against uh, Bob Apodaca. And the 35 will be a fly ball to right. The stop comes in a couple of steps, and he's under it. So a pop-up into right field, shallow right for pitcher Carlton. Here's Dave Cash now with a 46, and that's going to be a ballpark result, and that 9 is going to be a pop-up. He's a righty, so that pop-up is to the right side, and that is Milner under it in foul ground. Makes the catch two away. And next is Boa. 62, and that'll be a swing and a miss. Struck him out. Top of the eighth. Five nothing, Phillies. Felix Mian. 33, ground ball, base hit. Oh, no, that was stop. Ground ball. Uh, ball, and that's foul. Next pitch is outside, ball four to Rusty. Cleon Jones now comes up. Pitch from Cotton. Run around first, 25, and that's going to be a 14. That's going to be to the second baseman. Double play if he's got a strong arm. And he may have a strong arm, not sure. Uh, Cash does, and that's going to be a 4, 6, 3. They turn back-to-back -back innings with double plays. Strong infield, both Boa and Cash. Uh, John Milner up next. Two out. Nobody on for Milner. Here's the pitch from Carlton. And a 31 will be a ground ball. Bounce past the diving cash for a base hit. That's the sixth hit allowed by Carlton today. Jerry Grody up next. Pitch to Grody. And a 26 will be against the lefty. That's going to be a little blooper over the head of Boa. And that eight is going to uh, be a one base advance unless Unser has a W arm. He does not, so it's a one base advance. So stopping at second base is Milner. Here comes the pitcher. We're going to get a pinch hitter, two men on. And we're going to go to George Theodore. Let's find see if we can find Theodore. There he is. He will bat in the place of the pitcher. He will face Carlton here. Two men on. And the pitch to Theodore. And that's a 66. That's a line drive base hit on a five. That's going to score a run. And both runners will move up. Two bases because they're two outs. And they were on the go. And Carlton is uh, becoming fatigued it looks like let's quickly check his uh his uh batter's face 34. shouldn't oh wow he has faced 34 batters okay so harrelson is up next big hit by rbi single pinch hit rbi single by george theodore and next is uh five to one now with bud harrelson coming up pitch from Carlton at 14. That will be a ground ball to short. That will end the inning. Goes to Kef. Flips it to Cash. 6-4. And uh, we're going to get Parker to come in. Parker at 20, 131 innings. So it's going to be the new pitcher for the Mets will be Harry Parker. Let's see. Let's get to the back end. That's what she said. All right. Let's get to uh, find Harry Parker here. Should be one of these two cards. Arr. There he is, Harry Parker. 
and he will have his so his uh b stuff so that creates a situation here where if i cut this out let me see Now I could just look, but I'd rather just have this and, and then uh, let me do this thing. There we go. It'll make my life much, much easier. All right. So Harry Parker for the Mets on the mound, facing Unser here, the bottom of the eighth. Mets trail five to one. Phillies, five runs, six hits, one error. New York, one run, eight hits, no errors. And that 41 is going to be ball four. So Unser walks here to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. Bringing up Greg Luzinski. He's had a rough day, struck out a couple times. Pitch. And a 54, that's going to be a possible wild pitch. Let's look at uh, Harry Parker's numbers here. Hold on, I want to do something. Make my life easier as well. Okay, I'm gonna do that. There we go. Okay. So, um, one to eighteen. So probably, let's see. So it's gonna be, uh, oh, on one. That's gonna be a pass ball, pass Grody, because there's no way Grody had zero pass balls, and we'll double check. I have the, I do have the chart over here. Did I print out for the Mets? I may not have printed out for the Mets. I was doing, I'm playing a lot of teams. So. All right. So let me go to check uh, Grody's defensive numbers uh, on his card. Grody is probably a pass ball of a one or a two. Yeah, he's a one, and that will be a pass ball on Grody. So runner will move to second. Luzinski's still up. So it's either a wild pitch or pass ball. The official score says it's a pass ball. All right, here's the pitch to Lezinski, and that's going to be a 14. Struck him out. Fastball by Parker. Strikes out Lezinski. Here's a Montanez, the lefty. Who's up next? Anderson. I'm going to intentionally walk Montanez and face the righty, Mike Anderson. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a 32 with a 17. That's a fly ball. Left field, Jones in the gap and runs it down. Back to second is Unser. Here's Bob Boone now. Bob Boone had a two-run single earlier in the game with the bases loaded and two outs, and that knocks Seaver out. Parker to pitch, and the 25 will be a ground ball to third. Garrett is going to step on the bag, and that retires the side. All right, Ted Martinez leads off here against Carlton. Carlton can go until he gives up a – oh, wait, it – Bottom of the eighth, walk, pass, ball, intentional walk. That was what just happened. Um, until he gives up a base runner. So we're going to try to get a complete game out of out of um, Carlton. Carlton had 17 complete games. So we'll see what happens. Ted Martinez leads off. Top of the ninth. Last leaks for the Mets, a 53 and a 1. That's a KD strikeout. Now that's a range play, so if it wasn't, it didn't fall within the KD, I would have re-rolled. Here's Wayne Garrett. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Wayne Garrett. I don't know what's wrong with my food today. Wayne Garrett, uh, lefty today. Wayne Garrett is oh uh, no, he's actually two for three today. Wayne Garrett has two hits today. Good job. Here's a pitch, and the twenty-one will be a swing and a miss. Garrett. Swings through a fastball by Carlton, who's reaching back for a little extra here with two outs in the night, trying for that complete game. Felix Mian now. He's a tough one to strike out. Almost impossible. And that's a 41. That'll be ball four. So that's going to knock Carlton down one. Right? That's going to knock Carlton down one here. That's the way we'll play it. Um we're not gonna, it's not 2023, so we're not going to pull him with two outs in the ninth inning. He's Steve Carlton, right? So we're going to let him face a Rusty Stop. He still has a four-run lead here at the top of the ninth. Here's a pitch to Rusty. 
and a 21 will be a ground ball second base cashed takes it himself and that my friends retires the side and the game so it's steve carlton wins it he's 1-0 siever takes the loss terrific 0-1 mvp of this game is steve carlton uh, Phillies with five runs, six hits, one error. The Mets with one run, eight hits, and no errors. Uh, any highlights for the Mets? Yes, John Milner and Wayne Garrett both had two hits each. Uh, unfortunately, Seaver got uh, knocked around a little bit here in the first start of the season, but uh, we know that will uh, improve. Just had really bad luck in that inning where I rolled nothing but doubles, and that happens. And uh, that's about it. Those were, you can consider those hits off the batter card, right? Um, and that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching. This is Tony Porter. This is uh, Tabletop Dice Baseball Digest. And uh, check out all my other videos. And remember to join the Facebook groups. There's about 20 of them. Eh, maybe 10. Uh, Universal Baseball Association. Uh, check out the Fall Classic Baseball Facebook group. Um, and All Sports Replays Plus. Check that one out as well. And I will uh, see you guys soon.